What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. Now with 200% more lasers. <laughs> That's right guys, since I had so much fun with the Ortura laser, I reached out to Full Spectrum Laser and they sent me out a Muse Core to check out. So that's what we're gonna do today. The Ortura is a diode laser. The Muse Core is a CO2 laser. This one comes pretty much in pieces and you have to assemble the whole thing. The Muse is all put together, it's in its own enclosure. And there's only a couple things that you need to connect, uh, so it's pretty much good to go out of the box. This is just a beefier machine, so we're gonna we're gonna get it out of the box and we're going to run it through its paces, do some testing with it, check it out. But if you like what you see and you're considering getting your own laser from Full Spectrum, if you use promo code BDB Laser, you can get $125 off of any of their lasers. Now let's go get this beast out of the box. Okay, here I am with the. Muse Core. I don't know if you can see how big this box is. It's just a little bit bigger, just a tiny bit bigger than the Ortur. The Ortur came in a box about this long and it was all assembly required. It's my understanding most of this is already put, put together. I'm gonna time lapse me opening this because I don't think I have everything here to assemble it. So I just wanna assess and figure it out. I think I need to get something to go in the window to plug the vent in so it will vent out and things like that. So I don't think I can actually, actually I know I can't because I need distilled water and not distilled water. Let's crack this beach open. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing. This thing weighs like 80 pounds. So uh, you may need a buddy, help you get it out of the box or something along those lines. So Full Spectrum Laser does a uh, an assembly video on this that I think is pretty top notch, pretty self-explanatory, goes through the steps well. I will link that down below if you wanna check it out. Um, I don't want to mess with it too much because obviously I don't have the thing vented or anything yet. I don't have any cooling in the cool in the cool box, but oh, it's pretty inside. Let's see. Check it out. Ooh. So it has LED lights inside it, so you can see your workspace. Like I said, I'm not going to like turn it on too much yet because I don't have everything connected. But okay, so I need it. I still need to get the rest of it assembled, but just that portion. It took 15 minutes and that was a couple of minutes of me running up and down the stairs trying to get uh, some tools and whatnot. Sorry about the light behind me. Uh, so really easy assembly. Everything's, uh, everything's labeled well. Um, there's really not a whole lot of parts to put on. I would say watch that Muse assembly video. And then just go to town. Couldn't find anything on like Amazon or anything to install in the window uh, to vent the Muse in my office. So what I did is I ordered a, a, a four inch dryer dock that I'm gonna attach to the end of that. And then I just came down to the shop and I found a scrap piece of plywood. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole in this and then I'm gonna install the dock in that and then this is gonna install into the window. And that'll give me something that I can put in there when I'm running the muse and I can just pop it out when I'm not. Okay, so it's not perfect. Uh, definitely needs a new coat of paint. I probably need to put some weather stripping around it because go figure, the window isn't square and I can see light at the top and not at the bottom. But for all intents and purposes, we now have a vent that vents outside. I will pretty it up later. Okay, the Muse Core doesn't come with a camera in it. Uh, the Muse 2D and 3D do. So in order to line up material in the laser, I just went ahead and cut a sacrificial piece of plywood. And all I did was I took the honeycomb down there and I took the dimensions off that. And now we're gonna put this in the machine, we're gonna go over to the laser and we're gonna burn a grid on it. Okay, so we're gonna open up Retina Engraver 3, which is their proprietary software. And the cool thing about their software is it connects to the machine 
not through the internet. Okay, so we're gonna come in and we're just gonna make, uh, we're gonna make one line and then we're gonna make it into an array. And then once that's set up, we're gonna run a perimeter real quick just to make sure we're, we're doing our thing. And then we're gonna hit that play button and let her rip. And then we're gonna do the same thing going horizontally. Now, in retrospect, I probably could have done this all at the same time, but I wasn't real familiar with the software at the time. So then we're just gonna do the horizontal lines just like we did the vertical one. So the Muse Core comes with a focusing puck or a little focusing billet, but my kids thought it looked cool and they immediately absconded with it. So this is four quarters, which Muse assures me is pretty close to a uh, quarter inch, which is what that billet would be. So we're gonna put that there, manually adjust the screw right here, slide this guy down onto our fancy quarter setup. I pulled that out. Okay, now we should be focused to the to the piece of wood. Okay, now let's run some tests. I want to see how we do with a grayscale image. So I went and just grabbed something from the Googlers. A little pinhead action for you. And I'm not going to worry so much about settings right now because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so once I get the image resized to the, what I want. We are just gonna send it and, uh, and check out the results. And I'm actually gonna take uh, this box off too because I, don't, I was using it for reference, but I don't want to, to cut the box. What's in the box? Next, I engraved my logo, which I apparently forgot to record. And now I'm just doing some text. You'll see here that I sent this just a little too hard, boys. Um, it burns the wood pretty bad. I've been playing with this thing for about two weeks now. Does it look, is it, does it look pretty over here? I have horrible lighting in this corner of the room, so I apologize. Uh, but I've been playing with it for about two weeks. It is... Uh, it's a beast, man. It's a beast. It's very cool. I'm still learning, so not all the projects that I show you are going to be like perfect, but we took a stab at just some different materials and things like that. Before we get to the results, I just want to say thanks to you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. I'm going to give an extra special thanks to all of my Patreon members, especially my Boilermaker Patreon members or my top tier Patreon members. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z and Andy the Viking. Clinkies! All right, let's check it out. All right, this engraving turned out awesome. You can actually feel the individual pins and oh, it's just like the detail is just so good. This is the one you guys didn't get a chance to see because I forgot to film it, but I like the way that the logo turned out. It definitely has got a little bit of a lip here. The last thing that you guys saw was the lettering and if you look, I mean, it was burning through the back of this thing. It was just, uh, it was just too much. So definitely want to back off a little bit if you're doing lettering. So next I did some vector cutting, uh, just on different material. This is walnut. So this is one pass all the way up to 12 passes. This is cherry, maple. And if I didn't mention, this is all at hundred percent. Oak, which I was kind of surprised about. We didn't get through the oak. Now I was doing, this is uh, this is 100% at 100% speed as well. So uh, if you slowed it down on some of these, you might be able to get through some more. We'll still have to play with that a little bit. Give me some Wingay here who, like the Wingay almost came through on a couple of them. I don't know if you can see, but there's like little perforations around some of those. And I did some Purple Heart, which uh, apparently is as hard as they say, because even when you get to 12, it didn't penetrate the back. Penetrate. <laughs> um, and if you went any more passes than that, it would just turn a, it would just be black, a black mess anyway. Next, I tried to, uh, to do a Norton white tile uh, in there and it didn't turn out so well. So I, this definitely needs some work or maybe that's just 
something that you is easier to do on a diode. Next, I did some slate. And so this, let's see, I gotta look at them. Yeah, this one was a little light, so I did it again to get a little bit more detail in there. Um, still kind of a work in progress on the slate as well. Now this next one is just crazy. I wanted to see how, how detailed this thing could get. And look at that. Look at how crazy, that's a little Marvel uh, Aztec calendar thingy. Um, still probably a little hot on the burn. There's a couple areas that charred in there, but look at that. Look at how fine that detail is. And this is like, you know, this is the size of my hand and I have little girl hands. So good. And as amazing as that is, just to let you guys know, this was, this was the first pass. <laughs> the Muse Core, man, I'm hooked. I love it. Tell me what you want me to laser next. Uh, I'm working on some other projects. Going forward, it'll probably just be like, like a how-to on one project as opposed to me doing a bunch of stuff behind the scenes and not really sharing a whole lot of information. I didn't even know I wanted a laser until I got a laser. So, I mean, maybe you don't want to, you don't want your first one to be a Muse. Maybe you want to go with like the Ortura or something like that. Once I got my first laser, now I just want to laser all the things. So many possibilities pop up. I encourage you guys to check this one out if you're already into lasering. I, I, I maybe if you want something a little bit more budget friendly, look at the Ortura. But yeah, man, like every day I learn something new that I can laser. <laughs> All right, thanks for playing. Now I gotta get to work. Only BS I need is beers and sunshine. Is this thing on? Okay, good. <laughs>